people of Agama Media officially. I welcome all of you who have subscribed to the channel. And please, if you've not done so, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload our videos. We will be covering issues relating to traveling abroad visa application processes for all the countries around the globe. And we shall also cover socioeconomic issues and entertainment. With regards to entertainment, as I speak with you, P Black, Lika, and Basby are covering Quiz Arena, which promises to be one of the best street quizzes we have ever had. We will be detailing out what we plan doing with the street quizzes, which has been named Quiz Arena. And then in the next few days, you'll be getting feedback on that. But for today, for the purposes of this video, we will be delving into the USDV uh, lottery. We have fantastic statistics to share with you. Statistics that will make you make informed decisions. The numbers are intriguing. The numbers, I tell you, will let you know that the chances of you winning the USDV lottery is now very high. Statistically, if you look at the information from the website of U.S. Department of State, it tells you in 2019 for Africa, they had a little over 11 million. In 2020, around the same margin. But in 2021, entries they had was less than 5 million. In Asia, 2019, they had 3 million. 2020, they had the same 3 million. And then in 2021, it reduced to 2.8 million. In Europe, they also have the same numbers reducing drastically from 7 million in 2019 and 2020 to 3.9 in 2021. In Central, South America, and Caribbean, the numbers were within 22 million in 2019 and 2020. But interestingly, in 2021, the number reduced to half of the number, which is around 11 million. And then even and in North America, the number in 2019 was 2,864. And then 2020, it was 2,748. And then in 2021, it also reduced to 1,672. Now looking at the data from all the continents, it tells you that there has been significant reduction in the number of entries for the DV lottery. And what is attributing to this is that the U.S. Department of State realizing that there has been a number of multiple entries of prospective applicants, decided to imbue in the system a mechanism to avert that. And in trying to do that, they introduce their passport elements into the application process. So the passport elements is that you put in your passport details, the passport number, the date of issue, and then the date of is expected to expire. All these will be put into the system. And this element has prevented a lot of these agents who were doing these multiple entries from getting access to. You might have given your information to these guys who are going around gathering data for the visa process but now if you have already given your data to someone don't worry now the u.s department of states has given you the green light because you now have to put in your passport details which is the only document these agents don't have and they can't forge anything relating to that so now this has reduce the number of applicants so the chances of the few because they select 55,000 winners every year so imagine before then they were let's say 30 million applicants and now it has reduced to let's say 15 or 14 million then it tells you the chances of these 14 or 15 people winning is very high so i will just urge all of you especially we have two months ahead of us. If we do not have passport, the best thing you can do 
is make sure you apply for your passport with immediate effect because if you have your passport details and based on the process that i'll walk you through you'll be able to apply your visa and if you are fortunate and you you get selected then i trust me i'm a beneficiary of that and i can attest to the enormous benefit that <clears throat> accrue from being a u.s uh, permanent resident and if you are fortunate you go through the process you become a u.s citizen so looking at the numbers the chances of you winning the lottery now is very high so every individual on this platform should immediately apply for passport if you do not have one if you have one please do not give that information to anyone because if you have that information and the visa application process is open we will, we are here to share everything with you and we will walk you through everything as you prepare to embark on your visa journey so let's go straight into a powerpoint i presented here for you to know the details what is expected of you the qualification criteria wherever you can find the basic information in order to apply for your visa start with step one you submit your entry that is when they open the application process in october you put in your entry and then selection of the entry is when the randomly select the winners and if you are lucky you go to step three you are selected then step four is where you confirm your qualification by submitting your senior high school or high school diploma or work experience we will walk you through that and then step five you submit your immigrant visa application and registration form and then you come back to step five which is the document you want to support your case whatever you want to present to the counselor to be interviewed you go through all the process so you go for the interview and then on the interview day if you are fortunate you are granted the visa and then you go through the last stages to immigrate to the United States of America. So the online registration for the DV program will officially begin in October 2021 and conclude in November 2021. Please do not wait until the last week of the registration period as the heavy demand may result in website delay. Usually that is what happened because last days a lot of people want to visit the website and that significantly affects the uh, algorithm and that delays the process so you talk about the u.s qualification the dv lottery qualification you simply must have a high school education or is equivalent and be 18 years of age or older and be a national of a qualifying country the reason is that some countries do not qualify to apply for the dv last year nigeria was exempted from that and based on the information that the department of state will release you will be able to know if they have waived uh, that restriction for nigerians but for now it's still in place you have to have that or if you have work experience you can also qualify so these are qualifications that you need to have in order to qualify and then the good part is that the principal applicant could qualify for this whilst the beneficiary if let's say you are married and you have the qualification and your wife and kids do not have those you can still input that because when you win they become your immediate family members and per the u.s immigration requirement immediate family members could also join you to immigrate to the united states of america so it comes with a lot of benefits and then if you have work experience you are qualified with a work experience you must have at least two years of experience in the last five years in occupation with the u.s department of labor definition requires at least two years of training or experience that is designed as job zone four five and that is classifying a specific vocational preparation reaching of 7.0 or higher and then the u.s department of labor provide very good information on the knowledge and skills education and training occupational characteristics at this very website so if you want to know more you can go to this website here and then you know 
more about that. Then you have to make sure that you submit your entries electronically. We do everything online. We don't do any paper application with regards to this. And no late entries is allowed. And if you submit one entry, that's it. If you put in another more entry, like two more, you are disqualified. The algorithm will disqualify you from the system. And so please desist from submitting multiple entries. That was the reason why the Department of State introduced the uh, passport data so that the agents that have your information, if they try applying again, uh, they can because they now don't have your passport details. So you can get details, guidelines of completing the application for going through the DV instruction here and then after you submit a complete entry you will get a confirmation containing your name and your unique confirmation number please make sure you keep the confirmation number because that is what you use to assess your result when the entry uh, process is over and then you want to check whether you have won or not you have to use the confirmation number so please make sure you put that one you can even print the confirmation from your screen and then put it on your file it is extremely important that you retain your confirmation number if you can read what has been bold in here so that tells you how important you need that in order to find out if you have won there is no cost to register for the dv program you are strongly encouraged to complete the entry form yourself without a visa consultant, visa agent, or other facilitator who offers to help. It's so simple, very simple. When they open first day, we walk into it and then go we'll take you through and you will see how easy it is. If somebody else helps you, you should be present when your entry is prepared so that you can provide the correct answers to the question and retain the confirmation page and your unique confirmation number. So even if someone is helping you, please make sure you are present so that you get to know what is going into the system. Because now, if they input your password details incorrectly, it affects your chances because should you win and your passport does not correspond with the information, that my, my goodness, you have won but you can't process so make sure you are physically present while someone is helping you to complete the process so you can get everything you need on the website so dv 2022 program yes google you will find very important information on that and remember individuals who submit multiple entries they will automatically be disqualified and remember you should not pay any one fee to do that. So what you need to prepare ahead of the uh, October portal opening is get your passport ready before September. So you have August and September, try to get your passport ready. Take your passport picture. You can take that per US standard. Any Photoshop that you go, you tell them, is for us dv lottery they have the standard they know the guidelines and they will give you the best and then your high school certificate for the principal applicant make sure you get that and then do not share your passport details with agents as they usually embark on re-entering applications on yearly basis which leads to multiple entries if you also do submit yours submit your entry as early as possible to submit your entries as early as possible and we are here to help there is a limited period of time during which you can register for the diversity immigrant visa program each year so each year the department of state publishes detailed instruction for entering the dv program so i think with this information that you have you will be well prepared to gather all the necessary documentation for the dv lottery which opens officially in two months time please make sure you go through the process you can watch the video number of times and make sure you gather all the required documentation as you embark on this i'm a strong advocate for this because 
I'm a beneficiary and I have friends and family members who are also beneficiaries of this. And I can tell you the benefits that accrue from this, my goodness, uh, is unmeasurable. A, you will enjoy when you get selected and officially you come here, you have a lot of benefits. So please, before I go, I'll plead with you to kindly subscribe to the channel and then click on the notification bell if you've not done so. And make sure you stay in tune, share with friends, colleagues, so that they also put in the best of application and win the US victory. Probably if you need help, you can also send me a comment or email me. I'll be very, very happy to help because I know if you put in a little effort, you also win the lottery because the statistics show us that the number of applicants has reduced drastically and with probability of winning increasing. I will advise everyone to put in the application. My name is Felix Atwine, and I happen to be one of the executives of Agama Media. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.